Hello and welcome along to Mondo Chalavet Movies, my name is John. In this video is going to be an unboxing of this title here, which you already know about because obviously you have seen the uh, thumbnail. But first I just want to give a couple of shout outs. The first goes to my favourite work colleague, Helena, and also her bird, the regally titled Prince Kakariki, Lord of Washington. Here he is, here's a little fella himself. So that's a big shout out to the Prince and also Helena. Great to work with you. Hope you're having a great day today. And also at the other end of the table is Michael. Here he is talking about his favourite subject. It's raining. It's pouring. This is what I've got to work with. Where are my ladders, John? Right, tell everybody the story about the ladders. This is Michael, by the way. I've been waiting for a pair of ladders for about three weeks. Oh, you haven't. And John has said that he has ladders and he's going to learn it tonight. night. Yes. But well, unfortunately, they're in his shed. Look at the camera, Michael. They're in the shed. And I'm still waiting for them. Uh-huh. And That's what was it, why... What was it at the time when I had my... I said to you, I'm going to give you them ladders. What happens? You didn't even get back to us. What were you doing? Wrong washing information. Your, washing your like hair? Like on his podcast. Long, sure. Wrong information. But there's always Thank conditions. Thank you not even like my podcast, says, funny lad. Conditions. Very much where conditions. Where are the conditions? Didn't wind her up. Again, it's raining, it's pouring. Right, so that's a uh, little uh, heads up from Michael. Where's me ladders? I'll tell you what, if Michael mentions them ladders to me, I know where I'll be putting them. Okay, so let's get into opening this up. This is, uh, it's a funny one, this one, because I know this is not out till next week. And I was prepared to wait that long, but then I saw people were actually getting this delivered from 88 Films, and I thought, yeah. I think I might just chance me on it, uh, getting it from the uh, the shop, so which I did, and it come it's come really quick. It's coming in two days actually, so it's out before in one. It's out before it's actually in the shops. So on that on that note, I will say if you're thinking about getting stuff from eighty eight and you really uh, you really want it, uh, I got it actually before it comes out in the shops. So the title I've got today is of course. The Night of the Demon. So this movie is from the Section 1 Ban Video Nasties list. And it's one of the, the last ones to even sort of get even talked about uh, or to come out in the UK. Uh, it's one of those ones where there's not that much in it, if I'm honest, that's like, you know, stuff that you think, wow, that can't come out. It's no Gestapo's last orgy, put it that way. But this one, as well as the, the movie Delirium, is released in this really good uh, slip case or slip box. Uh, which it'll go right on the shelves with Delirium and makes me think that uh, 88 may be putting a few more of these movies out. Please go and let them do that because they do a fantastic version. So this is a two disc edition. Uh, you get a load of extras on here and you do get um, some things about uh, band video nasties and all that, which is, which is brilliant. That's just the stuff that I really am interested in. Uh, this film is from 1980, I believe. Yes, 1980. This is fully uncut. Uh, everybody knows, if you know this movie, you know exactly what scene was cut or was the one that got this this movie into a lot of problems. So what I'll do is I'll open this now and I'll go downstairs and I'll have a look at it on the, uh, the play and see what it looks like. Um, because, like I say, the Code Red one wasn't that great, but it was just one of them things where you thought there's only tapes survive of it. There's not actual any, um, you know, like film stock. So I don't know how this has been remastered, but I do know that this is definitely a much better remaster than the code red one was. So let's get into this. So there's the inside. I'm hoping it's got a reversible art on it because that's, this is the art of the, the box. Great art, man, I've got to say. Um, just so glad to have this movie out because it's one of those ones that uh, I remember seeing this on a really bad copy and uh, it was so dark I couldn't make out what was happening in it. It did kind of spoil the movie if, was, if I'm honest. The Code Red one was a lot better but it still it still was lacking. You could tell there was definitely um, a lot of problems with it but I did really enjoy the film that, that time so I know I'm going to enjoy this film because it's, uh, it is quite a, a good movie but I'm interested to see what quality this is like. So in the box you get... Put them over there. You get your two discs there, two Blu-rays, 
and you'll get the movie and the special features. Good disc art on that. So there's a reverse art. Actually, if I'm honest, this is the art that used to go on the, uh, the pre-suit, and I think I would have preferred this uh, this art in it because this is the one that speaks to me more than more than this one. I've never seen this one before, but yeah, it's not it's not bad to have a like a different take on it. I don't know if this is a a previous uh, co a cover that was um, you know out in the day. I've got no knowledge of that one. So uh, you get that reversible art. You also get this booklet. Like I say, that's the, if you were looking for the pre-cert of this, this is what you're looking for. Never ever saw this on pre-cert. I did think that it was a, a, a movie there. Uh, there's a couple of covers there, so maybe that's taken off there. This looks like maybe kind of like a US um, video video um, box. I do know this movie was so uh, hard to get. You know, it was one of those movies that was really low budget, put into a, a VHS, and then... Um, and then, you know, you just think, uh, will this ever see the light of day in a proper edition? Actually, the Code Red one was the one I thought, well, that's the best it's going to get because that's what it said on the Code Red box. Also, you get a poster here. So there's a new art on the poster. And also this reversible sleeve is on the poster. Actually, it looks all right there when you see it on there. It looks better than it does on the cover there. I would prefer to have this as an option, but never mind. That's a, that's a small nitpick. So I'm going to quickly go down and take a look at this on a 4K player and tell you what I thought of the picture quality. Okay, so I've just checked the movie out and I just wanted to show you inside the box here. I think you can see that better than you can on the Delirium uh, disc. They've done the same thing where they put something in the, the, uh, the cover there, sort of like a hidden thing, which says, an evil mutation embarks on a wave of brutality. Brutally. So this one says, an evil mutation embarks on a wave of brutality. So this one says, an evil mutation embarks on a wave of brutal butchery. Try to say that after 15 pints. So yeah, so this one here, it does mirror the recently, very recently released uh, other band video nasty, Delirium. So when you see those, those two together, this is going to be a, an exciting line. I hope there's going to be a line of this. I know it hasn't got no numbers or anything, but to see these movies in this in this form, it's just absolutely amazing. If someone had said to me this time last year, this is what you'd be throwing off on your latest video, I'd have said, no way. So this is just such an amazing thing to have. So when I check this out, bear in mind that my previous uh, introduction to uh, Night of the Demon on, on a movie that I could actually watch was the Code Red DVD. And it had been taken off, um, I'm thinking, a videotape actually, and they just said, look, this is the only quality that exists of this movie. This is the way it is, and that's just the way we've got to accept it. And it was all right. It wasn't great, but it was watchable. Um, but the, the quality was very um, very much a sort of VHS quality, but a good VHS quality. Now, this one here, I had a look on the box to see where this print actually comes from. Now scanned in 4K from the recently discovered 35mm answer print with over five and a half hours of special features on two discs. So... Bearing in mind that when I was watching the recent Agfa uh, 88 movies ones that had been scanned on 4K, but my God, they just look abysmal. I was expecting this to be not the same, but a bit better, but I thought this might be another one of those movies that's got like a lot of, a lot of scratches all over it, and it's not uh, in any way, shape or form looking, looking very good, because to be honest, Delirium looks pretty good. I'm not going to say it looks, it looks awful, but you can tell that's not taken from anything that's like like a good print so delirium comes across like a very good dvd so bearing that in mind i thought this was going to be looking exactly the same i thought so i put it on flicked it on bear in mind i'm going to say it again my previous thing on this was an average vhs dvd this looks absolutely spectacular i never thought i would say this about night of the demon i am blown away by how good this movie looks now bear in mind it is quite a, a low budget movie. It's never going to be sort of like Apocalypse Now or anything like that. I'm not going to say that. But to see this movie in nigh on perfect quality is unreal because this one, even on VHS, it looked abysmal. Uh, everywhere this has been, it's always looked like trash. And I thought this one would just be another one of the same, but uh, it's far from it. This, if they can do this with uh, these movies and do resurrect them actually and also put two and a half hours sorry five and a half hours of special features i mean is 
There's quite a few special features on this disc. By the way, I've watched this the other night, and I had such a good time with this movie. This fella here, the one with the glasses, he is, uh, in real life, he's got the, the best name ever. He's called Baron Winchester. And when you see, if you hear about a person called Baron Winchester, you would think, oh, this is going to be sort of like a big sort of Arnold Schwarzenegger type of character. You couldn't be further from the truth. So this film was absolutely brilliant. I just thought it was one of the best ones I'd ever seen, believe it or not. And a lot of people don't like that movie. But I cannot wait to watch this one now. This this is the best thing about getting these ones resurrected from the depths, the dead even, to say that um, you're going to see something, how it was meant to be seen. Uh, I don't even know how this, this movie was meant to look because every time I've looked at it, it always looked awful. So I've got to say, I highly recommend this movie for the presentation and also the movie as well. This is one of the best video nasties for me. And uh, just I just think that they've done an amazing job. I think 88 are just starting to come into their own, their own with this. And I really do think that we are going to get some more stuff. There's no way they're just going to leave it at these two. I think that they're going to put uh, more video nasties out. I hope they do anyway. And I hope they put them in this spectacular form, this slip case. And I think they would look absolutely amazing on the shelves. And uh, these, these actually, these are two of the, these were two of the hardest to get video nasties out there. I was expecting to pay big money to get these these year, this year, on long out of print DVDs. Even I don't even think they ever come out in Blu-ray, if I'm honest. Or if they did, they might not look that good. This one is got to be seen to believe. If you've ever seen this one before. You've got to be prepared to be shocked at how good this movie looks. The clarity and everything in it is just unreal. I've always seen this. It's always looked VHS quality on anything. You know, that whole sort of VHS blueiness. And uh, this is pin sharp. The colours in it look absolutely amazing. Also, the print is very uh, cleaned up as well. It's not dirty or anything like that. So, yeah, I can't recommend this enough. And this movie here was just such a such a fun movie. Yes, it was daft it was preposterous it was um low budget and the acting in it sometimes was like laughable but sometimes that's all you need to know when you uh, get into these movies you will just have a good time with them and if that's the end of the day that's what you get then that's job done so thanks for watching please check out these movies especially this one you take care and i will see you on the next video cheers